This demo shows using a template-based suspension subsystem. Let's start by loading a demo model, and let's make a clone of it. A clone is a local copy in memory of a model that can be used for modifications and studies and can be saved if you want to keep it. Let's add a template-based front and rear suspension. There are a number of templates to choose from. Let's use a McPherson strut for the front and a multi-link suspension for the rear. Hit apply, and the model is ready to be used. Switching to the front suspension subsystem, you can see there is a new suspension viewer similar to suspension gen. It's dockable and it shows the geometry layout of the suspension. It's also dynamically coupled to the suspension geometry so that when you select a hard point, it is highlighted in the viewer on which point is selected. Updated coordinates are immediately reflected in the suspension viewer. In addition, the orientation of hard points that can have bushings are also shown and can be updated, at least when not in kinematic only mode. Switching to the bushings tab, you have the ability to adjust scaling or preload for the bushings in six degrees of freedom. And you can also access the property file, which can be set to either linear or spline based for nonlinear rates. This is also a new feature compared to suspension gen. And finally, the suspension analysis tab which is also a new feature, allows for setting the range of jounce and forces, as well as the discretization steps needed to map the geometry in traditional kinematic and compliance grid. Now, with these changes, the rest of the suspension is adjusted. Compliance and kinematics tabs are removed as the curves will be automatically computed. Also, motion ratio or compression ratio curves are removed, while attachment points on the chassis for springs and dampers are added. Let's run a simple event with an investigation to show the power of this new approach. I'll set up a step steer event on our clone model. Now, add an investigation based on the event. If I filter, for example, on upper mount, the coordinates of the hard point are immediately available as candidates for the investigation. Let's add the longitudinal position to the investigation and give it a short name. Looking, I see the nominal value is minus 32.81 millimeters. We'll allow it to vary in a range of minus 20 to plus 20 millimeters for its original position. We'll add a response called steering wheel angle torque max and assign the steering wheel torque output channel to map to it. Let's run a full factorial study and look at that response across the range with 11 different levels. We can select the number of processors to run in parallel. Since I selected the simulation mode to be in background, the car real-time interface is available to use during the simulations, as opposed to interactive mode, which would lock the interface. Once the simulations are done, we can view the design space and results. Now we can see that changes in the longitudinal position of the hard point obviously have an effect on the maximum steer torque for this simple step steer event. This demo highlights the major advantages of using template-based suspensions to allow studies of the suspension geometry and compliance.